As you very well know, Microsoft is using the Windows Store as a home front for their AAA titles, so us PC gamers can have access to Xbox exclusives. Now anyone might say, Barry, this is a great thing, this better be a positive video. And to a degree, it is. But there are always silver linings and there are always pitfalls. When I'm searching for a product that I'm interested in purchasing, I look at the negative reviews because those reviews are a potential that this item can be defective for me. Likewise, it's best to know the pros and cons to anything that would like to access your credit card information. I'm going to start with the pros because this is the easy part. The pros to the Windows Store is that we can play all of our casual App Store games as well as AAA titles on one store. The store seems easy enough to use and isn't full of ads, so I'm happy. When it comes to the Windows Store though, this is all I have for pros. It's a pretty standard internet store, but the cons are many. I want to talk for a second about why we got Windows 10 for free. Did anyone think that Microsoft grew a heart and just wanted to do something nice? Or do you think that they may have had an ulterior motive here? If you picked grew a heart, you don't know Microsoft very well. Microsoft is one of the greediest companies that I've ever met next to Apple. So why would a company so bent on taking our money give us the ability to switch from an operating system without the Windows Store on it to an operating system with the Windows Store on it? Hmm, I can't think of anything. But on a serious note, this was just one of the many schemes that Microsoft has done to try to get that Windows Store into as many houses as possible. The second being Forza 6 Apex. Which, in all honesty, what were you thinking? But moving on. The cons. Firstly, I just want to say that it is really weird purchasing AAA games from an app store. Apps and video games are two very different things, and in a way, there's just something off about going to an app store. A place where a more casual gamer would go to play phone games, to get a AAA experience. However, this is just a small gripe and it doesn't bother me the more they put their exclusive titles up there. The real problems are these. What is just one thing about PC that makes it so special? How about the fact that no matter what game comes out, we can go to many different stores to pick up a copy? A physical store like Best Buy or Walmart, or an online store like Steam or GOG, or those online key stores. But it's interesting that Microsoft's store doesn't allow for inputting a key to redeem a game. You can't even purchase their games anywhere but from their store. Now some may say, well Microsoft did a lot to get their game working on the PC and it probably needs the Windows Store to work properly. Well I have two rebuttals to that. One, the games that they've ported to PC have ran like crap anyway, so I don't see how the Windows Store actually helps. And secondly, this. We've heard this before. Oh, you need our DRM to run this game. Oh no, it's not locking you into our system at all. We're just letting you play the games. And it's better that you have a Windows Live account. It makes you cool. Screw off, Microsoft. That's not how it works and you know it. You should have learned already that locking people to your DRM is not effective. We aren't console gamers. We don't want you to decide how we play our games. The reason we switched to PC gaming is because we wanted more options. And taking those options away is a great way of being ignored. Like we care about your games if you try to do that to us. Now you might say, well Barry, What's the big deal? It's their games. They didn't have to port them over, so why shouldn't they have a system that protects their IPs? Well, here's the thing. It's totally fine if they want to have a DRM. We deal with a ton of companies that plaster their DRM onto every game they make. But the difference is that these games are on Steam, Uplay, Origin, GOG, and online key stores at our convenience. I can purchase the game from anyone I choose, and I can purchase the game because of a special. Maybe Steam is having a sale on the game that no other online store is having. Maybe a key store is selling it for far less than everyone else. And maybe there's a free day where I can demo the game before I purchase it. But on the Microsoft store, not only am I not allowed to go to any other online store to buy a code, not allowed to purchase the game off any other DRM, not allowed to buy a discounted version of the game unless Microsoft decides I am just not allowed any of those freedoms that I've come to know and love about the PC. And isn't it sad that Microsoft has already been through this before? They've seen firsthand that this doesn't work, and yet they have the balls to try it again. Look, I'm very glad that we have access to these exclusives. 
It's cool that Microsoft is trying to move to PC, but if they do it wrong like the way they've done before and they keep locking their games behind their own jail cell that only they can open, it's not going to end well. I mean, do you remember Games for Windows Live? When it comes to the... Share it in, you frick. So why would a company so bent on taking... Share it in. You should have learned already that locking people to your DR... Sheridan.